Hi everyone, welcome to Wedra Studio. Today, we are going to talk about copper. So now let's get straight to it. The word copper comes from the Latin word cuprum that was derived from the phrase cyprium maze, which means a metal from Cyprus, a place known for its copper mines. Copper is solid at room temperature with a shiny, pinkish-orange color. It is the only unique metal that is non-silvery beside gold. Copper is one of the few metals that is found as native mineral without being bonded to other elements. It could also be extracted and purified from its ores such as malachite and chalcopyrite. Did you know that copper was the first metal to be worked by humans? Neolithic people are believed to have used copper as a substitute for stone by 8000 BC, before Common Era. In ancient Egypt, copper was indicated in the hieroglyph system using the Ankh symbol, which also signifies eternal life. Egyptians used copper tubes for water plumbing and pyramids, copper alloys to make jewelry such as toe rings, and copper compounds malachite and azurite to produce vibrant green and blue eye makeup. Copper can be alloyed with tin to make bronze and alloyed with zinc to make brass. These alloys are harder than the pure copper. In the Bronze Age, people used bronze to make swords, helmets, and spearheads. The Nebris sky disk from Germany is a 3,600-year-old sky map made from bronze. Unlike the early arrival of bronze, brass came onto the scene much later in the 18th century. The gold-like luster of brass made it prized for jewelry and coins. Copper is often referred to man's eternal metal due to its high durability and stability. It ranks the third most consumed industrial metal in the world, after iron and aluminium. Copper is a soft, malleable, and ductile metal. It can be stretched easily with excellent electrical conductivity. This makes it a top choice in wires, electronics, telecommunication cables and etc. Due to its high corrosion resistance property, copper is used for plumbing. They are also used in shipbuilding as wooden ships are susceptible to corrosion from barnacles, shipworms, and even salt water. Did you know that an average car has 50 pounds of copper? Modern cars with more complex and efficient electrical systems require more power and thus more copper. Nevertheless, copper is 100% recyclable without any changes to its properties. It is estimated that nearly 80% of the copper that has been mined is still in use today. The Statue of Liberty in New York has more than 80 tons of copper. Originally, it was copper in color and became green due to oxidation. The verdigris layer protects the underlying metal from further degradation. Copper is naturally antibacterial. It is commonly used in doorknobs and door handles in public buildings to prevent disease transmission. It is also used as an intrauterine device to prevent pregnancy. In 2010, copper socks were used to treat foot infections among 33 miners who were stuck underground for over two months in Chile. The US penny was originally made of pure copper. Today, it is 97.5% zinc and 2.5% copper. Besides coins, copper is also present in jewelry as it could enhance the hardness, flexibility, and color of the material. The addition of copper to gold is how rose gold is made. Did you know that an adult human body contains around 1.4 to 2.1 milligrams of copper per kilograms of body weight? Copper is essential for blood cell formation. It is found in many foods such as leafy greens, grains and nuts. Also, copper earthing protects buildings from lightning strikes through conductors. As they do not cause sparks, copper tools are used when working with explosives. Well, that's all for today and thanks for watching. If you like our video, please click the like and subscribe button below. We'll see you in the next video.